What makes up a good testimonial and how can you create one or have your clients create one for you? The answer to that question will be found in this Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. In over 30 years of business, I've heard various suggestions on how to create a good testimonial. What I find is that most testimonials have no power to them, no punch. They're vague, they don't give any specificity, and they don't convey the right emotion for a prospective client or customer to value to gain value from that testimonial. Earlier this year, one of my coaches taught me a valuable four-step formula. The first step of this formula answers the question, what specific problem did you solve for your client? As a speech coach, people will tell me that I helped them gain more confidence. I gave them a predictable structure, a format, and also specifics on how to better deliver their presentations. The second step is to answer the question, what made my company or me stand out from others? Common answers I receive to that are, number one, that I'm a good listener. I, I really take the time to understand what my client's challenges are before I just start offering up suggestions. Number two, a predictable process that they can use over and over again. It's not just something they can use one time while I'm coaching them. They can take it with them and use it long after we've done work together. Number three, my coaching process was based on their schedule, not mine. I have a preferred way as far as spacing between sessions, but it's not set in stone. Life interferes. Sometimes we have to change. People really appreciate that. Those are three specific ways that help me stand out from competitors. The third step is to answer the question, in what specific ways did I help my clients improve? Some common answers I receive are, I took the time to read over the script that they sent me or listen to the audio of their presentation. Number two, I offer feedback on that. I don't just give generalities. I go in and take a look at each script, make suggestions on what to take out, what to put in, make adjustments, etc. I also provide a format to manage nerves, anxiety, etc. These are predictable and repeatable tools that you can use every time you present. And most importantly, people consistently tell me that they appreciate that I tailor the coaching to their style. I work with an extrovert very differently than I do an introvert. I work with people that have a short time frame differently than a long time frame. So we take a lot of factors into consideration and people really appreciate that. And the fourth part of the formula is to answer the question, what specific payoff did you get from this coaching? An excellent example of that is my client, Patty. If you've seen any of these videos, you've heard about Patty. If you haven't heard her story, I met her at a chamber Christmas party one year. She was scheduled to give a speech 11 months later, and she was extremely anxious the night I met her. It was only going to get worse. The night of her talk, she had four people donate checks to her foundation at the conclusion of her speech. Six other people volunteered their time. When I sat down with Patty a year after that event, she informed me that she was out speaking and trying to raise funds for a local boys and girls club, she had raised over $1 million through her speeches and her other networking efforts. Those are tangible benefits. There's your four-step formula for creating a testimonial that will be valuable to you and prospective clients. It will give them tangible benefits and it'll help them understand the deep emotional benefits and possibly the career or financial benefits of working with you. I wish you the best of luck using your testimonials to attract new business, new clients, new speaking opportunities. Talk to you on our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.